Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Frank. Um, I'm kind of all over the place with things I do, but I wanted to do something today um, about the Toro Time Cutter. I have a, it's a newer one. It's like a 21 or 22. It has a, I think it's a 22, and it has a uh, three-year warranty on it. It's a 52-inch cut. Um, nice machine. Um, last time I parked it, it just wouldn't start. Now, I've, I've scanned the internet on everything, and I think only one person you know, found my problem. Um, I did my battery, charged it up, made sure, of course, start with the battery, then try the solenoid, then try, you know, you move on to the starter, it's kind of your last thing. But um, in my case, it was really weird. I It kept fooling me somehow by thinking, I, I was like running it right from the battery to the starter, and still nothing was happening. So I'm assuming my starter locked up. The battery showed, as soon as I started, it started showing 13.7, so amazing charge. So that rolled out the battery, move on to the solenoid, tried jumping the solenoid, and still nothing. This is where it really started, I couldn't understand. So I replaced the solenoid. Even my friend who's a good mechanic in the neighborhood came over and um, said, look man, look, replace the solenoid, that's what we need to do. So I replaced that, still nothing. Oh my God, what's happening right now? So I move on to the starter. Maybe the starter's locked up. Um, you know, because when I took the cowling off the top, the Bendix was still engaged. So I thought maybe it burned up the starter, so I replaced that. Still nothing. What's happening right now? Um, checked all my safety switches, did everything I learned on YouTube from other people. Um, and thank you, you all for that as well, for helping out, because I don't know what I'd do without YouTube University, but um, that's why I like to give back myself. But only one guy really hit on the, the what my problem was. And he kind of breezed over it, but <clears throat> believe it or not, the last time I, I pulled in, I park it, I come back a week later, nothing. Battery showing 13.7, can't understand it. So, um, I started to catch on when every time I tried to start it, the battery would drop to like 10 volts. So, I was like, okay, so I charged it up some more. I actually even put it on start, you know, to start it. Um, you know, with your battery charger, to, and nothing would happen. I'm thinking, that wouldn't we start it? If you want to, like, jump in a car, you, you, you jump your lawnmower, it would start. But, you know, I'm not a mechanic, never claimed to be. As a matter of fact, I can screw up anything. I can, I'm, I shouldn't have no business touching a wrench. But uh, this was actually pretty easy work. The starters, the only, you know, one bolt to undo the starter line, you know, the uh, hot power to the starter, and then the two bolts holding it to the crankcase. That's all there is. And uh, on mine, the... Um, Solenoid it was a little tricky. It was tough to get to. I couldn't get my big meat hooks in there, and um, yeah, that was a bit tricky. I didn't really enjoy changing that out, but um, I did it. Um, come to find out that all I did was change the battery. And that was it. So what you do is get your battery. If you're having problems like this, the first thing you do when you're checking your battery, your first step: check your battery. I don't care what it shows. You got to charge it up. You got to trickle. It's at thirteen seven. You know, just like mine was. Put, get one of them load testers, you know, those little, they have they have ones that have the alligator clicks on it and it'll, you push a load on it and it'll tell you the battery. Mine wasn't even registering. It was showing this amount, but you know, when I brought it in to have it tested, it was just, it was too flat to even test. So the, the, the battery was a brick. It was absolutely doing nothing. So it had me running around for a whole day, changing all these other parts, believing that the battery was good. When if I had just put that load tester on the battery, you know, it would have dropped the battery down, you know, from 13.7 to 10 right there you know that's not good and it's your battery so that's my story and so you don't have to go through everything I went through all day <laughs> I'm not a mechanic I panic because I, I you know I have the tools but I like to play one in real life but I'm really not I'm horrible at fixing things but um, I hope this helps check your battery first put a load on the battery before you go anywhere else if that's not it if you can and, and I was you know I was trying to bypass the solenoid and it still wasn't working. So that's a that's a clue. You know, you bypass your solenoid and short of your starter being locked up, it's probably your battery. And uh, so good luck guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope this helps at least one person out there to to uh, put a load on the battery and check it because mine showed okay. Um, besides that, happy mowing and have a great day. See you.